Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We're going to be learning about translation, translating constructions and you will be able to work on 10.5. Today, students will be able to translate a figure given a vector. So a vector is a ray that tells you how many, like how much you're going to move it and in what direction. In here, it tells me that I'm going to move my triangle this much and in this direction. So basically every vertex is going to be moved that much and in that direction. Okay. So these are the steps that you have to take to be able to translate triangle ABC as described by the vector given. And so the first step is that you're going to measure the vector given and one thing that is very important is that you measure all the way to the tip of the arrow on the vector okay to the tip even if you have something like this is not to the middle of this little arrow but to the tip right here okay so I have that measurement already I just took it right now and I'm going to create an arc from each of the vert, vert, vertices. So I'm going to label this since I develop it with um, vertex D. I'm just going to say that this is arc B. I don't move it. I have the same, the same measurement. I don't open it or close it anymore and create another arc. Now I'm going to try to compare to that. I'm going to try to kind of do it in the direction that it's going to be. I'm not going to be doing an arc on this side since this is not telling me that the, the vector is going that way, but rather down. Okay. Same for C. And so I have the same measurement and I create an arc for C. So this is for A and this is for C. Okay. And I'm just labeling so that we don't get confused of where it goes. The second thing that you have to do is go, I'm going to start in alphabetical order. So I'm going to go, it doesn't matter if you don't do it in alphabetical order, but I'm going to go to the end point of the vector and I'm going to put the point that doesn't have the pencil in that end point and open it so that it's on vertex A and after that I'm just gonna go to the point of the vector and find the intersection with the arc for A okay again what I did was to go from the end point open the compass to vertex A and then right there Mommy is like... I'm gonna do the same thing for vertex B and so again that's how much it's gonna be open but in the new position so I just go down on the vector now you don't really have to do that but it's just so that you don't forget what to do it's basically going here and then going to the point and find the intersection with the arc B. And you're going to repeat the same for vertex C. And again, you're just going to go and find that intersection. So these are the three, the intersections with each one is going to be the point. So this will be A prime, this will be B prime, and this will be C prime. Now I'm going to get my straight edge and I'm going to connect those three points. And that's it. That's all you have to do to find the translated figure using this vector 
to find the new points okay so I'm gonna if you can see it moved by that much and in that direction okay so I'm gonna give you the directions that students remember that I usually go with words that will help students and so this is what they came up with first step measure the vector Second step, create arcs from all the vertices with vectors measurement. So not opening or closing that compass. Uh, step three, open the compass from end point, and I just put the initial in there, from the end point of the vector to a vertex, any vertex, it doesn't matter which one, in, or, by, or you can do it in order, and then Move compass from the end point to the tip of the arrow and mark if you're doing for A, then do it on A. If you're doing for B, then do it on arc B. If you're doing it for C, then do it on the arc C. And the intersections become the new positions of each vertex. Okay? So if you want, you can take a couple of minutes, pause it so that you can write this because I'm going to move it now. Okay, I'm going to give you one more example. And now this vector is telling me move, move each vertex this much and in that direction. So it's going to go kind of like C is going to go there, B is going to go there. A is going to go there. Okay, so the first step is to measure the vertex. I mean the ver vector. Okay, so open it from the end point to the tip of the arrow. And create arcs. And that's for C. Notice how I put the arrow in here instead of down here because now the direction that it's going is going to go like this. So that's what I'm going to need it. And one for B and label that arc B. And again, this is just so that we don't get confused, but pretty much if you don't do that, it's not going to be a big deal. And finally, arc A, right there. The second step, and this is the part that people get confused. Some people will measure some of the vertices from here and others from here. No, you always start from here. This point is super, 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 super important, okay? That's from where you're going to open your compass, because that was the initial point, and compared to the figure and this is where it's going to move so basically it's like if it was here before now it's going to move there it was here so remember this point open it doesn't matter with which vertex and then you go down 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 to the tip and mark b okay that's the new intersection so that will be b prime B prime, it's right there. Then you do the same thing for A. Again, remember, this is the like super important part. The tip of this compass is right here and open it to the vertex. So I'm going to do vertex A about there. And so I move to the tip. And mark the intersection on arc A. And finally, some people will do this. And that's where that gets confusing. You never start from the tip. It's always compared to this, this point. Okay, and open it to point C or vertex C. And then go and then find the intersection, which is right there. Okay. Um, I already found the three points of intersection. So this is C prime, this is B prime, and 
a oops <laughs> right here a prime and I'm ready to trace or actually connect those points a connects with C B connects with B A connects with B and B connects with C and so this is the new position of of triangle ABC as described by this vector right here okay it's telling me move it that way that much okay so now you're able to do 10.5 and i hope you can you'll have fun bye bye